I'm here in Haiti and we're looking at a Homes of Hope project that I'm really excited about. There's a, presently a camp of refugees from Port-au-Prince that are living here. And what we want to do is sell them land and uh, then build them a house, a Home of Hope. So if you're a church or a business group that wants to come and make a difference in one of the earthquake victims from Port-au-Prince, you can come here for $6,000. You can build a duplex that'll bless two families. About 60 to 70 percent of these victims are telling us at this time they aren't interested in going back to Port-au-Prince. So these are potential candidates that may set up residence right here in this area, in this city, makes them very high candidates to be uh, recipients of Homes of Hope. And with this Homes of Hope project, as we've gone in where someone has a decrepit house that, that is just falling to pieces, we're saying we'll build you a Home of Hope if you'll give us a piece of land that we can pass on to one of these victims in which we build another Homes of Hope for them. The real key for the success, I think, for the Homes of Hope and for these people to get out of the situation, the mentality and the physical situation they're in, is, is that they're able to buy a piece of land and then we build them a Homes of Hope on it. Building in them the ability to actually have a home but yet they have the possession. We have the land, we empower them then with the home. What we have right here is some pillars and posts that uh, they're getting ready to put up a, the first few Homes of Hope here in this area. So we're really excited about this. We really feel like housing is such a key uh, part of rebuilding people's lives. And uh, we don't want to do handouts. Handouts don't work. We don't want to be paternalistic. That doesn't work. What we want to do is have an integrated project where people are working and paying along the way, but at the same time we're giving them hope and help and a hand up, not a hand out.